I have a microphone now. And I really like having this microphone. I am so glad that it works. Okay, um, this is the second time I'm doing this video because I made a mistake again. <sighs> really did not want to have to uh, redo this video, but it's irritating making videos and seeing that I'm making mistakes. Very irritating. I actually made a couple mistakes. The second one, I kind of laughed it off. But the first one, I said the exact opposite of what I meant to say. <sighs> so I'm going to try this again. Uh, one good thing, though. One good thing about it, though. Like, one thing, I was just talking about the microphone that I just got. But I can save what I said. Like it doesn't matter. Like I'm pr I'm gonna re I'm gonna be repeating a lot of stuff anyway because I'm I want to make a, a a video about the microphone. So I guess it's fine. I don't need to say all, everything I just said about the microphone. But I was just explaining how I got a microphone. I really like it and just talking about the microphone. Uh, so I don't I can save that for another video. And like what this is supposed to be a scrapbook video. So I really only, in, in the previous video, uh, other than talking about the microphone, like in the scrapbook, I only, um, I only covered one, one article, one photo, and then I talked about it, my, uh, my own personal experience, uh, uh, how, my own personal uh, story that related to the article. So not a big deal. It's just irritating having, having to redo stuff. Uh, I also talked about like why um, why I'm here today in my apartment because it was raining today. So I guess I talked a lot about that. Um, my routine, my routine Monday through Friday has been going to uh, the library, not in the library, outside the library. They have these benches outside the library, so I've been going there with my laptop. At these benches uh, to use the Wi-Fi, um, but that that doesn't work when it's raining outside. So I saw that it was raining outside, so I was like, "Well, I guess I can't go out, go to the library since it's raining." <sighs> um. But, so, the day after the 4th of July, so the 5th of July, the library was closed because the 4th of July was on a Sunday. So they decided since the library uh, wasn't going to be open on Sunday anyway, they were going to be closed on Monday too, the day after the 4th of July. So nobody was there. So they have this shade apparatus outside the building by the benches. Uh, so since the library was closed that day, there wasn't anyone to unlock the shade apparatus because it's locked. No one can get at it. The public can't get at it. Someone that works at the library has to unlock the shade apparatus. So I wouldn't have had any shade over there. And uh, Previously, I got sunburned really bad because they didn't have any shade out there. My arms were all burnt and they were peeling uh, both arms and my neck too. So I didn't I didn't want to get burnt again, and I didn't like how I don't like how my laptop. I'm sitting out there in the sun and my laptop gets really hot, so I don't like that either. So I noticed on the other side of the building, 
there's this nice area where it's like in an alley because it says so there's a library and then there's another building on the other side and there's this uh, uh, table so I went over there uh, because because of the shade uh, from the buildings uh, yeah the Sun wasn't getting through over there so I had some nice shade and it was nice to sit at a table rather than um, having my laptop on my lap so that was nice it was nice over there it was a nice little area so I figured well um, yesterday um, they didn't have the shade apparatus opening open because they, they don't always open it up uh, so I figured well I'll just go on the other side of the building again because I know there's this nice table over there where there's some shade so I went over there and it was nice because I could actually sit at a table and I could actually see the screen well and uh, there was some shade over there so that was nice but then the maintenance guy for the library tells me that, that that table is meant for uh, the library employees for when they go on a break so I was thinking I was thinking well I'm not surprised here's another time where I'm told I can't be where I'm at which is irritating I talk about that topic uh, about being uh, being told where I can't be where I'm at in my uh, annoying situation series of videos so I've had previous experience with that so annoyed so I just said okay so I got my stuff I went to the other side of the building by the benches no table over there and they didn't open up the shade apparatus it was okay at first because it was cloudy out that day and but then the clouds went away for a little while and I kind of got sunburnt on, on my my head um, so I guess that's all was, well the other thing I was just kind of irritate I was gonna say I was irritated for, for having to do that because uh, it was so nice over there at that in the alley there with the, on the table <sighs> but just kind of muttering like afterwards and then just swearing was just <sighs> saying to myself well <sighs> if they would let people sit inside the library for more than 45 minutes because there, so there's only one place well, I guess maybe I didn't mention that in this video okay so there's only because of the damn virus which happened last year this is 2021 the library was closed down for a little while and then they opened it up but now they're letting some people go in there but there's only as far as I know there's only one place in the whole building where they're letting people sit down with a Wi-Fi device there's a sign there that says it but it says you can only sit there for 45 minutes so that doesn't work for me because I I'm wanting a few hours so it's kinda of pointless to go there for only 45 minutes I'm not gonna bike all the way over to you know if it's raining and I know I can't be outside the library because of my laptop I'm not gonna bike all the way to the lap to the library and be inside the building for only 45 minutes and then just be, if you know if it's still raining bike all the way back home it's not worth it so I was just muttering to myself like well if you let more than one person sit inside the library with a laptop for more than um, 45 minutes I wouldn't be in this situation this irritating situation so So I guess I was just figuring, okay, so this is where I messed up. I messed this phrase up in the in the one the video that I'm redoing originally. I messed it up. 
so this phrase I messed up. So the expression of making lemonade, like when when life gives you lemons, when life gives you when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Okay, so that whole thing. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. So the positive of it was like, well, all right, fine. So I, I, I can't go outside because it's raining. So I'll just, I'll use, I'll use this day to, to make videos. Okay, so this article. SPC, I don't know what that means. It's a military thing. SPC, Chance Inderdahl, the Kool-Aid gunner. So it says, a snapshot from Shelby. Okay, when I was a kid, I loved to sneak up into my mom's cupboards, get the Kool-Aid container, and just eat the stuff plain. I'd let it sit in my mouth and mix with my saliva and kind of turn it into a drink. My mom used to catch me all the time and yell at me for it. In the field, they give you this sugary drink mix, and I look forward to it every day. I just swig the powder, swish it around. It gets lumpy and then more watery the more I swish. And finally, I drink it. Usually, I have the orange stuff, but today, I got grape. I do it just because of the taste, flavor, and unique way of having it. But in a strange way, I do it because it reminds me of being a kid and being home and of my mom yelling at me. She passed away in April, so it's nice to have a memory of her every day. It perks me up. Adapted from an interview with SPC Chance Inderdahl of Rocheld, Wisconsin, 30, 32nd. This is where I made a mistake in the previously, too. 32nd Engineer Company. Okay, so there's that article. And then I just had this other little thing to, uh, little personal thing. I, I just remember, like, I had uh, Kool-Aid a lot when I was younger. And it was one of the first things I ever learned how to make. So thinking, look, thinking back on it, I remember, wow, I put a lot of sugar in that. Uh, just like, I don't, I'm not sure exactly how big the, the measuring cup was. So I think it was like a cup of sugar. I put a cup of white sugar in this, this pitcher, pitcher that I still have. I think it's the same one back from the 80s when I was a kid. So I'm still using it for, but not for Kool-Aid. I'm using it for like making uh, my smoothie batches. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I used to, I used to, um, I used to make Kool-Aid a lot when I was a kid. And I used to like uh, stirring it. And then, oh, I'd watch it. I didn't say this in the last video. I'd, I'd, I'd like how, like, when I'd stir it, it would be like a like a, a whirlpool. This, like, And then I'd let go of the, the handle of the, of the mixing spoon, and the handle would go around like that. And I used to, I guess I used to enjoy that experience. So, yeah, I, I had Kool-Aid a lot, even, like, after that. I, I still had Kool-Aid a lot until like the like I guess like s several years ago uh, I decided to stop drinking Kool-Aid because like I, I look on the ingredients and it's got like uh, like red and then it's got a number and so it's got like all these artificial uh, flavorings and colors and I just wanted to get away from all that uh, artificial crap and I wanted to uh, drink and eat. Uh, more naturally. So I guess that's it. That's 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 the video here for the scrapbook. The scrapbook video. I hope I didn't make any mistakes this time. I'm gonna watch it again right now though. <laughs>